Hey, this is Jared from Grow My Etsy Shop Podcast. So today we're going to be showing you how to set up a Etsy campaign using Google Keyword Planner. What's great about Google Keyword Planner is that you just get to see more data on what type of keywords are working really well right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my ugly mug off of the screen here. So let's do that. Let's bring this all the way down, turn our camera off. All right. So what you're going to do first is you're going to go to it. You either need to create or go to your Google ads. So you go to ads.google.com. That takes you to this um, page. You'll click sign in on the right hand side. And then you either need to create an account, which you could just use your Google account, or you can uh, sign in if you have one. Once you're signed in, it's going to look like this. What you're going to do from here is you're going to go to tools and then go to keyword planner. That's right here, except it should look like this. So you'd go to tools planning, keyword planner. If you happen to be under the old design, it would look like this, where you'd go to tools and then you'd go to keyword planner from here. Okay, so from these two, if you have a list of keywords and you just wanna check them out and see how they're doing on Google, you would click on this. But for most of us, we wanna discover new keywords. We wanna see what's working and what's out there and what's in, growing in popularity, so we're gonna go here. So once you're in here, you would enter in a keyword. So currently I'm doing some stuff for a whiskey ice mold. Um, so I'm gonna do that. You're gonna, I'm gonna hit enter. And you can enter as many as you want, but I suggest kind of starting with one and then building out. So we go one. Right at the top, these are things that you can add in. So I kind of like this scotch mold. So I'm gonna hold on to that or beer ice mold. I'll hold on to that as well. Right off the bat, I'm seeing with whiskey ice mold, the Good heavens, jump me back. I'm seeing the graph of when it grows in popularity. So you can see here that just about October, we get our first increase and then it moves up in November, December it peaks, and then January and February, it starts to go more back uh, to normal. So there is definitely a holiday spike with this keyword noted. So here's our keyword and here's the spike. And again, you can look at the graph from here. But the things you wanna care about is the average monthly searches. So anything that has a lot of searches, which you can see this one has a fair amount, is great. Um, something we don't necessarily love is high competition. So high search, high competition, just like on Etsy, can be difficult. Um, and so if you're looking to you know, use this for your keywords on Etsy, just know you probably have a lot of competition uh, what you're going against. Another thing that's worth and kind of just nice knowing, it's not going to affect you too much on Etsy, but this is how much kind of if you want to be like, you know, number three or four on Google, you could pay 32 cents a click. If you want to be number one or two, you would pay around $2.06 a click. So this kind of lets you know also competition and where just how competitive your keyword is. The higher that number, the more there are people who are bidding for that number or for that keyword. Okay, so this is another thing I really like. So this was just the one we typed in, but now we have all these other ideas and I get this data that's associated with it. So one of the things, again, you're always gonna be looking at, apparently and this is a very competitive keyword, so they're all high, but you're gonna look for that medium low, good search volume. If you're a new store or launching new products, you're definitely gonna probably look for something more along the lines of smaller, but not a, a high competitive keyword either. So you'd want that to be kind of low competition, low searches. Those are probably the best to start with. And those are the things that you would target on Etsy. One more thing that's worth noting is this right here. So this is how much increase we're seeing for specific keywords. And so you can see this whiskey ice cube tray has actually seen a boost of 22% in the last three months and up 177%. So this is Google's data. Sometimes Etsy takes a bit of time to catch. In fact, Etsy tends to be a little bit behind. So if you see something with a big spike like this, that might be a good way to create a listing. And what you do is you essentially start your listing with this exact phrase, whiskey ice cube tray. You'd wanna say it just like that. So if you wanna play around with this, so for example, I might wanna add scotch in there. Um, I'm going to turn this one off and just do scotch. I can now see other keywords, the scotch keyword, which is actually a very low search and, <laughs> and high competition, but I can see other things that they recommend to me. And then you can go through the pages and you might say, yes, I like this one. This is a strange one. Looks like it does the opposite of our other one. Uh, let's go, these are all kind of bizarre ones. Um, best whiskey ice mold. Let's just say I like this one, though I don't. It has 10 and is a high competitive. But if I did, you just click it and you click copy. 
and then you could take it into a Google Doc and paste it, and now you have uh, your stuff. And so you can actually check as many as you want, and you can hit copy, and it will copy all four of those keywords, and it'll put it right into a doc for you. So this is a great way to use Google Keyword Planner to just kind of forecast what's happening. Again, you're looking at these numbers and being able to create listings from that. Hopefully this video was helpful for you.